Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create this simple comp composite in Photoshop. So, let's get started. So I have this image and it's just a raw file and I didn't do anything in Camera Raw or Lightroom. Just straight from the camera and as you can see it looks terrible, flat and to be honest the weather didn't help much. Grey sky, very cold, oh well, one of those days in London. So the first thing to improve this image is to add some clouds and I've got some clouds here, very cool clouds. So well I could go and start selecting either the sky and then masking and everything but I'm going to show a quick and easy way. So I'm going to select the top layer which is the clouds and I'm going right here to click FX or you can double click right here outside on the layers panel and as you can see we've got the blending options and we have these sliders right here, blend if sliders. So if I mo move anything on the top, it will affect the existing layer. So if I do it on the bottom, it will affect the underlying layer. So because I want to blend them together, I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dragging this slider. And as you can see, as I drag slowly, it starts revealing more of the image but as you can see it looks really rough so let's make it smoother so holding ALT or option on the Mac and clicking right here on this triangle I can split and this way it looks a bit better so something like so and it doesn't look brilliant right here but it will look much better so I'm going to press OK so now what I need to do is because as you can see, you can see straight away this is a fake uh, clouds image on this on this image. So I'm just going to drop the opacity to around something like 51% 50, a bit too much, but 49%. And as you can see, it's not too bad. Let's bring okay, that's much better. 44% roughly. And as you can see it's a massive difference so I'm going to merge this layer and now I need to think about adding a boat so there you go this is the boat this is a shot I took last year while on holidays I know it's not straight but hey there was lots of boats and I wanted to get as many as I could with my camera so there was no time to frame most of the shots so what I want to do is I want to remove the boat from from this image and I'm going to show you what I've done so what I've done was just removed the top area but I left the water so with that I'm going to just grab my move tool and I'm going to take it to the, the image so there you go it's here and it's too big so I'm going to control T or command T on the Mac to transform and I'm going to hold shift to maintain the portions of the image and something like this let's now an important thing is um, I want to make sure that the water runs just about the same as the main image so something like this I think it looks okay probably a bit too big still so I'll just make it smaller and yeah I'll stick with this so there you go perfect so I'll click OK and accept the changes but as you can see still not 100% so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my layer mask my paintbrush and as you can see right here there's a couple of lines because it was based on the original layer mask so that is a big no-no on this image so I'll get rid of it and I don't know what happened Oh, there you go. I hold, I press shift. That's why. So, so now what I want to do is, as you can see, we've got this, but it's not very cool. So, I'm going to make a hard brush, but not that hard. So around 90 something percent. Now I want to make it smaller. And I want to click one side. Come to the other side. And before I click, I hold shift. 
and as you can see now it's nice and straight and it's not very hard so now I zoom in and I just go like so and try to fix this okay that's fine for now and I'm going to the other side as well and I'm just going to guess I think but I can also drop the opacity so I can see what I'm doing so if I'll drop the opacity like so make sure I'm using my layer mask make a big brush click once come to the other side hold shift and click and now it's much better and obviously I need to come in closer just to make this a bit better now so I'll go like so and now I'm not being very perfect but you get the idea just going to make a proper hard brush now just make sure I don't miss any detail in there so like this like this like so and you get the idea it's a bit time consuming and to be honest this is what takes time it's cutting off or removing backgrounds from the image so I'll click hold shift and there you go so just fine tune this small bit and I'm done and now I can bring up the opacity back up and as you can see it's nice and straight but well there's water missing in here and there's water missing in there and still there was a bit in here that was a part of a boat so what I want to do is I'm going just to with this layer selected I'm just going to duplicate the layer and I'm just going to rasterize the layer so I'm going first to convert to a smart object and now I'll rasterize the layer and I'm going to select a very cool tool which is content aware move tool which is new from Photoshop CS6 and I'm just going to select something like so rough selection now I'll just move something like this ok I'll move and let go and now Photoshop is thinking try to blend everything nicely and it only takes a couple of seconds and obviously depending on your machine and the size of the image so any second now and you can use the patch tool as well so it works it works okay as well so what I want to do is now I just want to drag a bit more to the side and there you go and now once more Photoshop is going to analyze and try to blend this image all together and as you can see it's really really cool feature even though I'm using Photoshop CC you still can do this with other versions of Photoshop um, this feature I'm using now I'm just going to do the other one on the side there you go this feature I'm using now it's only available on Photoshop CS6 and Photoshop CC but you can also use the um, patch tool the clone stamp tool whatever suits you best and as you can see it doesn't look too bad so didn't affect much so I'm just going to grab a, this selection and the layer mask and I'm just going to make sure that I'll just make sure that the area is nice and straight and zoom in like this I'll click like so and I'll come down here and click and yes it wasn't very very straight because it added those extra pix uh, pixels to the image yeah perfect cool so now we need to do one thing I'm going just to merge these two these two
two layers so now I have the boat in one side and the picture in another uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take this image into camera roll and uh, if you don't have Photoshop CC well you can save as a TIFF or you can do what I'm about to do before you take it to Photoshop so I'm just going to drop down the exposure just a touch open a bit the shadows add some clarity and it's good to go so I'm happy with this result and now we have this image which <laughs> it looks really really fake but once more filter I'm going to camera roll and there you go and what I want to do is change the temperature of the image so something like this drop down the exposure just a touch add some clarity because you remember we added some clarity to the other one so we need to add this one here to match and click OK and it's getting there it looks much better so now you have two options you can either create a new adjustment layer and work with the black and white like so and uh, just play with black and white how you in a way you might like or and I'm going to get rid of that layer or you can take this image to to camera raw and but before that I'm just going to bring down the levels a bit because it's too bright still the one with the boat so there you go much better so I'm going to take it to camera raw so filter camera raw filter and now I'm going to do my final adjustments it looks like this because uh, I crop the image and it's based of that and still is picking up information from before so I'm going to convert to grayscale uh, bring down the blues no, as fine as it is greens something like so, yellows oranges like this reds there's no purples, no blues magentas just a touch and now I'm going to add some more clarity add some more contrast and now open just a bit the shadows drop the highlights because I know there is some highlights in there and a bit more of a clarity I'll click OK and there we go only missing just the vignette that I should have done before but well let's go for it camera raw filter and FX and the vignette and there you go uh, I've rasterized all the time the image because I'm using an old machine so and plus recording takes a bit more memory than than I've got available but do work with smart objects when doing this because it's more flexible but as you can see it only took a couple of minutes and we got a boring fig boring picture to a nice and cool vintage composite thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now